the back rooms. If you've ever been around the internet anytime in the past couple of years, you know about this psychological nightmare, most commonly known as the back rooms. Although it does have other names like the complex, the labyrinth, the lobby, the halls, but we'll get back to that later. But on the off chance you clicked this video wondering what the hell some guy is rambling on about about scary all the space from hell, let me fill you in. Let's start at the beginning. 4chan. Well, 4chan is uh, originally for posting images on Japanese television shows and whatnot. To be honest, I don't know much about it. However, I do know this is where the original photo came from. Yes, the photo that practically anyone could hear, smell, and feel all by looking at the image. The bland theme, beige moist carpet, mildew, and bright mustard yellow walls. The sound of buzzing lights that can make anyone's head drop. Yes, and this all came from one photo. This photo was originally a single image. That's it. One image. What did the text read? The text read, The back rooms. If you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms. Where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights and maximum humbugs, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby because it sure as hell has heard you. This. The single image and text sparked hundreds of thousands of new concepts and ideas. The freaky image of emptiness and the feeling as if you were alarmed could send chills down your spine. Let me break this down. First, let's start off with liminal spaces. To put liminal spaces simply, think of a distant memory from your past. Could be the McDonald's play place that you were put in as a child, your friend's birthday party room, the Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. Think of old hallways you walked in, things that take you from point A to B. They make it dark and empty. Suddenly, your happy memories are now faded glimpses of the past. The Backrooms does such a great job at providing its viewers with a sense of hopelessness, the fact that there is no escape in your effect all the way. Well, other than the monsters created out of pieces of the sound, but we'll get back to that later. One of the awesome things about the Backrooms is that there are many different ideas of the Backrooms as concepts, videos, found footage, blender animations, and one of the most popular as of now is Kane Pixel's interpretation on it, where a group called Async is able to travel through the Backrooms and back into the overworld with not only the mono yellow Backrooms we all know and love, but many other liminal spaces, like houses. Another different kind of Backrooms idea is just the sole fact of spending the rest of your life there, slowly going crazy by its sickening repetitiveness. Many YouTubers come up with crazy levels of the backrooms expanding beyond the offices like pools, warehouse, homes, and about a million other abominations of psychological hell. But what's my interpretation? My thoughts are along the lines of this. The backrooms is a place between realities, not quite Earth nor the void. The backrooms is an essence of a gate between worlds, much like hallways are a gate between rooms. This liminal spaces idea portrays some kind of gateway between realities where nothing quite makes sense. The buildup of offices and headaches seemingly similar to nightmares about dead-end 9-to-5 jobs that men and women dread. The back rooms perfectly capture the feeling of a stressful, boring, life-sucking job, all down to the little details, the walls, the floor, the smell, and the sound. My theory is that the back rooms captures this idea so perfectly, just like expands on it and uh, takes it into a whole nother like, level of like, creepiness and liminal spaces. I know this video is short, but then again, I am trying to post daily. Uh, thank you for watching. We're almost at 100 subscribers. If you made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe and drop a comment on your own theory. And I'll see you in the next level.